We represent three principles found within human beings, reptilian, embryonic, and mammalian. We have come to speak to you today about the ontological status of extraterrestrial characters. Ontology is the study of whether or not something exists in reality, or whether it exists as merely a concept. If you humans claim to be lovers of truth and facts, then will you abandon all of your mythological, fictional, spooky, and non-factual beliefs? No, human beings will continue to play their silly human game of, my mythology is better than yours, justifying one silly belief, while condemning and criticizing another, yeah. Humans be like, extraterrestrials are spooky, far out, fictional, and crazy, but then still believe in other different spooky, far out, fictional, and crazy concepts. It is imperative that human beings evolve to the point where you realize that mythology and fiction serves as an engaging modality to convey messages, morals, and teach important principles. The purpose of a mythology or fiction is not to deceive. You deceive yourself if you choose to believe the mythology is true and real. Whether or not you accept information as true and real, is your responsibility, and your choice. Will you learn to accept, respect, and learn from the various mythologies of the different groups of people on your planet. Will you ever learn how to derive and separate the inner meaning, moral, and true message in the story from the fictional aspects of the story? I really don't know who to feel sorrier for, the person who believes that something obviously fictional is real, or the person who believes in something equally as mythological, but laughs at other people who prescribe to different mythologies and fictions, yeah. A human person who claims to tie their lineage and origin back to a character or place from an unverified mythological story, is no different than a person who claims to be from some unverified, undiscovered distant planet. Being able to read and speak ancient languages which have been dead for thousands of years and serve no purpose in your everyday life, is no different than science fiction fanboys who learn to speak the Navi language from the Avatar movie, or learn to speak the Klingon language from Star Trek, yeah. So. What is the ontological status of extraterrestrials you may ask? Well, there is just as much evidence of our existence as there is of the ibis bird headed character named Tahuti from ancient Egypt. We are as real as the reptilian crocodile headed character named Sobek from ancient Egypt. We are as real as the hairy dwarf character named Best from ancient Egypt, yeah. We are as real as Jesus. We are as real as the Fishman character Dagon from ancient Mesopotamian mythology. We are as real as the hairy wild man character named Enkidu from the Mesopotamian Gilgamesh epic, yeah. We are as real as the elephant-headed character named Ganesh from Hindu mythology. We are as real as the talking serpent character from the Bible. We are as real as the monkey-headed character Hanuman from Hindu mythology, yeah. We are as real as Ezekiel's will, the mothership, and Nibiru. We are as real as the human-headed flying horse with wings called al Buruk, which carried the Islamic prophet Muhammad on a night journey from Mecca to Jerusalem, yeah. My home planet is as real as your lost continents of Atlantis, Lemuria, and Mu. Some of the most remarkable and intelligent human scientists and astrophysicists have begun to apply the scientific method to study and investigate extraterrestrial and UFO phenomenon. But yet, some of the most ordinary humans, laugh at, and dismiss extraterrestrial, and UFO phenomena as nonsense. Ignorance is bliss I guess. Just because a mythology, or fictional story is ancient, or carved in stone, does not make it more valid. It is still just a fairy tale. Typical hypocritical humans, yeah.